subscribe. Today I will show you how to crochet this perfect transitional cardigan which has some gapping so you are not too hot but in the same time it is warm enough to keep you comfortable on those transitional uh, summer to fall to winter nights. And before we start, there are two things I want to mention. First, I am on Patreon and I will link you down in the description box as well as in the comment section. Thank you to the nine of you who have already joined. Starting this month, I am preparing some uh, Patreon exclusive content that is going to be available only to my patrons for free. You are not going to have to pay for that. Besides the monthly commitment you have signed up for. And the second thing is I finally opened an Etsy shop. Yes. I finally did it. So 95% of the projects that I'm posting on YouTube, the tutorials, the garments that I make are listed on Etsy. And of course, it's not only them. There is a lot of different stuff that is going to be coming. I will be updating my Etsy shop with uh, a lot of stuff that is made behind the scenes that never makes it into a tutorial. So check that out. I will link that in the description box and comment section as well. And now about the cardigan. I used two skins of the Stitch Studio by Nicole. Uh, earth tone it's available only at AC more but I will insert some pictures of different yarns from different stores well I mean you can use any yarn it doesn't have to be speckled but um, I, I mean any yarn any uh, acrylic yarn that requires a 5.5 or 6 millimeter hook um, you can use cotton uh, wool I mean it doesn't matter really the cardigan purposely is made quite large um, I really like to wrap into my cardigans um, obviously this cardigan is going to be posted on Etsy uh, it will fit from extra small for an oversized look up to large I think um, and for the size large it will be more like a fitted cardigan I made my cardigan pretty long uh, you have the option to make it shorter if you want to use less yarn or it's just your preference it also fits features um, kind of large sleeves comparing to my arm. <laughs> they are really popular right now so I wanted to implement that as well. So we stay trendy and get away from the myth that uh, handmade items uh, don't look as expensive and as nice and as couture um, as the mass market. Okay let me start right here. If you're excited to start give this video a thumbs up, grab your yarn, crochet hook, let's get to work! Before we begin crocheting this is what the project looks like. I have the back panel and one of the front panels. The back panel is 80 chains plus 4 at the end. The front panel is 40 chains plus 4 at the end. And as you can see the um, project has a bottom border with front post and back post trebles. And I like the uh, top part to be reinforced on the shoulders. So we will have three rounds of um, trebles up there. Also, it's uh, lightly slanted, and I will show you that in the project as well. The yarn that is used to make this garment is Stitch Studio by Nicole Earth Tone, uh, available only at AC Moore. These are the specifications of the yarn, uh, acrylic and viscose, approximately 560 meters, 280 grams. It's uh, medium four. It requires a size five millimeter hook, but I am going to be using a six millimeter hook for uh, more draping and it just looks um, nicer overall. Now how to count the sizing. You will need the circumference of your hips. Whatever that number is, for me is 100 centimeters. To this number I will add 5 centimeters because I want my cardigan to fit loosely. You can add 10 centimeters, 15, depending on how wide or how flowy you want your cardigan to be. So I end up with a total of 105. Now we have front panel and a back panel. We're going to have to divide this number by 2 and we get 52 and a half for each panel. Those are centimeters. So this is our back, this is our front panel. Our front panel has two parts, so we're going to have to divide this number by two because we have left and right. So 26.25 centimeters each. The number of the chains that you need for your cardigan has to be even or divisible by two. So you're going to chain your chain long 
to be 52 and a half centimeters or whatever number you have for your back panel. Just bring that number up to be divisible by two or to be an even number. Same for your front panels. You will start with a chain that is long corresponding to the measurement and just make sure that this number is divisible by two or it's a even number. And here are my 40 chains. At the end of the row, I will add four more. One, two, three, four. So regardless of what number of chains you have, at the end you always add four. Now we will put a treble into the sixth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over twice, insert the hook into the chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you will be putting trebles all the way till the end of the row. Yarn over twice, insert the hook into the next chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Again, yarn over twice, insert the hook into the next chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two all the way till the end. And this is the first row, all in trebles. Turn the work. We will start with chain four, that will count as the first treble. Then we will start working front post and back post stitches. Yarn over twice, insert the hook around the first treble. Well, this is the first one and this is the second one. So around it, pull up a loop, also around it, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice. The next one is going to be pushed, this one is pushed forward, the next one is going to be pushed to the back. So we are going to go from the back, go around it, push it back. Grab the yarn from that side, draw it through the front, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. The next one is pushed to the front, so yarn over twice, go around the next treble, grab the yarn, get it around it, pull it forward, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two. The next one is going to be pushed backward, so you go from the back, push it back, grab the yarn, pull through, and repeat the steps. And one more time. Yarn over twice. The next one, you go around it to push it forward. Go around it, and the next one is going to be pushed back. So go from the back, push it to the back, grab the yarn, pull through. See, you're pulling the yarn behind this main ridge. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And this is how you are going to go till the end of the row. When you come to the end of the row, you will work the next to the last one. Whatever works for you, is it pushing to the front or to the back, um, it doesn't matter. And the last one um, is going to go into the fourth chain from the beginning. So you are not working around it, you are working into the stitch, like so. Turn the work. Here again you will chain four, that counts as the first treble. And now your pattern is going to lead you. So yarn over twice, this one is pushed already to uh, forward, so you go around it and put a treble. Then the next one is pushed back to the back, so you're going to go around it, push it to the back again.
finish it and then repeat front and back like so till the end of the row and this is my border with three rows if you want or like larger borders you keep going um, until your border is wide enough for your liking we will start um, working on the pattern now so turn the work chain four that counts as the first treble yarn over twice and put the next treble into the next stitch chain one skip one treble into the next chain one skip one treble into the next chain one skip one treble into the next till the end of the row you should end the row with chain one yarn over twice skip one and treble into the fourth chain like so turn the work chain one and put a single crochet into the very first stitch then single crochet into the chain one space chain two single crochet into the next chain one space chain two single crochet into the next chain one space chain two single crochet into the next space all the way till the end of the row to end the row you will chain two and put a single crochet into the fourth chain from the beginning turn the work Chain 4 counts as the first treble. Yarn over twice and put a treble into the chain 2 space, the very first one. Chain 1, treble into the next chain 2 space, or a little arch. Chain 1, treble into the next chain 2 arch chain one treble into the next chain two arch these are your arches and these are your archers so you can see them clearly so repeat the same steps all the way till the end of the row after you've put the treble into the last arch that you had you're gonna yarn over twice skip one stitch and put the last treble into the last stitch of the row make sure to skip this middle one so you have straight edges turn the work this row we will start with chain three that counts as a double crochet put a double crochet into the space and from now on you will be putting two double crochets in each chain one space so two double crochets into the next space two double crochets into the next space and two double crochets into the next space like so till the end of the row after you've put two double crochets into the last chain one space you have two stitches left you're gonna put one single crochet into the treble and one single crochet into the fourth chain from the beginning and that is the row after you've done the row with double crochets you will start the repeat so turn the work chain four that counts as the first treble put a treble into the next stitch 
chain one, skip one, treble into the next, chain one, skip one, treble into the next. So on till the end of the row. So we are repeating this row. Then you're going to turn the work and start doing the arches with two chains. Then turn the work trebles again, then turn the work double crochets. If you are working on the front panel, I like to measure the whole garment, divide that number by three, leave the two thirds and one third is gonna be slanted. If you're working on your back panel, you're gonna do the repeats until you reach almost the end of the panel. Here I finished the repeat with two uh, double crochets in each stitch, just like here, and then I added three rows of trebles in each stitch. For the front panel, after you reach your two thirds right here, I will come back and show you how to make it slanted, including the top rows. And as you come to the end of the row, you will put two uh, double crochets together. So insert the hook into the last chain one space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over, insert the hook into the last stitch where you connected these two together, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. You have two unfinished double crochets. Then yarn over, pull through all three loops. And this is another decrease. Now turn the work and you will start the row with a decrease again. Chain three, that counts as an unfinished treble. Yarn over twice, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. That is a decrease again. And now you're gonna chain one, skip one, treble into the next. Chain one, skip one, treble into the next. All the way till the end of the row. When this happened to me, it might not happen to you, is to have extra stitch at the end. So I will just put a treble into the uh, third chain from the beginning, just to finish the row evenly. Then I will turn the work. And start normally with chain one, single crochet into the first stitch, chain two, single crochet into the space, chain two, single crochet into the space, chain two, single crochet into the space, and so on till the end of the row. And when you reach the end of the row, what I would suggest for you to do is skip this uh, space and put the last single crochet into the last chain. So, and it's not going to be very visible, so don't worry about it. Now turn the work, chain three will count as an unfinished treble, then yarn over into uh, the space or into the chain two space. You pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And there is another decrease. And now you're going to chain one and put a treble into the next space. Chain one again, treble into the next space, like so. And I apologize for my noisy neighbor's car. It's getting on my nerves. <laughs> but yeah, and keep going till the end of the row. At the end you are going to have one, two uh, chain arch, but you're going to have one more stitch left, so put a treble in it. Like so. Turn the work. Now is the time to put double crochets. So chain three counts is a double crochet. Plus a double crochet into the next stitch. And two double crochets into the space. One, two, one, two. 
so on till almost the end I will meet you here and we are going to decrease here again so yarn over insert the hook into the last space pull up a loop yarn over pull through two then yarn over and insert the hook into the last stitch of the row pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through all three loops um, stitches on the hook then turn the work you can keep adding sections where you are going to be decreasing. For me, this is it. Uh, now I want my shoulders and my back, as I said, to be reinforced. So I will add three rows of trebles. Um, for your back panel, you would just go straight, um, putting trebles into each stitch. For the front panels, we will still keep uh, decreasing. So chain three counts as the first unfinished treble find the next stitch yarn over in, uh, twice insert the hook into the next stitch pull up pull up yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn, yarn over pull through two and then trebles into each stitch all the way till the end we're not chaining anything in between we are not skipping anything just plain old trebles into each stitch like so till the end of the row then you're going to turn the work put trebles into each stitch and i will meet you here and when you reach the end of the row you will put the last two stitches together so one unfinished treble yarn over twice and the second unfinished treble then you will yarn over and pull through all three stitches. So this is my second row and I have one more row. There are three total. And I will start the last one with chain three, yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, second unfinished treble, yarn over, pull through all uh, two loops. And just finish this row by putting one treble in each stitch. When I reach the end of this row, I will put the last treble into the fourth chain from the beginning, chain one, and pull up a long tail, cut off the yarn, and I will use that tail to sew this panel to the back panel. And the panel is finished. Go ahead and make another panel. What you're gonna do is sew the panels at the shoulders first. Um, I would not leave slits because it will not look very nice. So just sew it from the bottom of the sleeve down and come back. We will put the border first and then we will work on the sleeves. All right, I decided that the cardigan is gonna have long sleeves, so I gave them the priority. We'll make the sleeves first and then we will put the border. This is my sleeve opening and I will start with a row of double crochets all around and it's gonna be, because on the main part, the double crochets are turned with the wrong side out, um, the same I want to follow for the sleeve, so I will start the double crochets on the wrong side of the sleeve. I will join directly into the seam. These are my double crochets. Chain one, and I like to drag the tail so this chain closes. Chain three counts as the first double crochet. Into the double crochet I will put two double crochets into the uh, trebles I will put three double crochets so for now I have total of one two three four five six I got to the single crochet space put one there seven then again a treble row so we'll put three double crochets in it then a double crochet row so two double crochets in it 
here we got to our seam on the shoulder so what we'll do is put two double crochets into this panel one double crochet directly into the seam just find a loop where you can fit it and two double crochets into the next panel and this is one of the sides so now we are on the other panel here you're going to be carrying it on as usual three double crochets and for the last row of double crochets we will put two double crochets and slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning and there is what we have all the way around now turn the work according to the pattern we're gonna have our trebles plus chain one so chain four counts as the first treble plus chain one yarn over twice skip one stitch treble into the next chain one skip one treble into the next chain one skip one treble into the next all the way around I will meet you here at the end and here I am almost at the end chain one skip one treble into the next chain one and slip stitch into the fourth chain from the beginning one two three four the fifth the chain one that's the part of the pattern now you're gonna turn the work and again according to the pattern we will have single crochet chain two single crochet so chain one and uh, well I will not single crochet here I'll just leave it because I'm gonna single crochet into the next space chain two single crochet into the next space chain two single crochet chain two single crochet and so on all the way around I'll meet you somewhere here when you get to the end of the round chain two single crochet into the last space and slip stitch into the chain one from the beginning now we will chain four that counts as a treble plus chain one and treble into the chain two space chain one treble into the next chain two space chain one treble into the next chain two space so basically same pattern and as we come to the end of the round the last treble goes into the last chain two space chain one slip stitch into the fourth chain from the beginning there is what we have now turn the work again chain three that counts as the first double crochet put a double crochet into the next space and now you're gonna start carrying on with the pattern two double crochets in each chain one space two two into the next one and two into the next one like so all the way around the sleeve I'll meet you somewhere here and into the last chain one space we will put two double crochets and slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning and this is the sleeve forming so now you will repeat starting this second row of the sleeve you would chain five chain four counts as a treble plus chain one and skip one treble into the next chain one skip one treble into the next and you are going to be repeating these steps from here and so on 
So if we would count this as a section from the row of double crochets to double crochets, my finished sleeve has one, two, three, four finished sections. For the fifth section, I did the only thing I didn't do is put two double crochets in each um, chain one space. And I will meet you here after you've done your row of the second row of trebles. Turn the work and slip stitch into the space. Chain three that counts as a double crochet. Now you will be putting one double crochet in each chain one space around. Double crochet into the next space. Double crochet into the next space. And so on until you reach the end of this round. As you can come to the end of the row, you will put a double crochet into the last chain one space and slip stitch into the third stitch uh, chain from the beginning. Turn the work. And as you can see, it already gathered a little bit. Now we will just keep um, with the pattern and put three rounds of trebles with front post and back post stitches. So chain four that counts as the first stitch. Yarn over twice, work around the first double crochet. Yarn over twice. The second one is gonna get pushed back. Yarn over twice. This one is pushed to the front. The second one is pushed to the back. And as I come to the end of the row, I will just keep on with the pattern. This one gets pushed to the back, the last one. And I'm going to slip stitch into the fourth chain from the beginning. And there is the first round of the brim. And now I'm not going to be turning the work. I will just chain four. Again, that counts as the first. And just repeat what I did in the previous round. The first one is pushed to the front, the second one to the back. And now we will start working on the inside border of the cardigan. We will join into the stitch one, two, three, four. Two trebles are gonna go into this row. One, Two. The next row is going to get three trebles. One, two, and three. The next row as well. Then we have a, treble, a row of treble again, so three trebles are going to go in it. Next we have here a single crochet, so one treble is going to go into that space. Then a treble again, so three trebles. Then we have a row of double crochets, so I'll move the double crochet and put two trebles in it. And this is what we have so far, it's straight. And now you're going to be repeating all the way up to the shoulder seam. And I got to the shoulder seam. This is the last row of trebles at the shoulder. And here I have the uh, trebles themselves. Now we need to connect these two parts so um, our border doesn't flare. So what I'm going to do is yarn over twice, insert the hook into the last space, pull up a loop, 
yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two. So basically the three from here and the three from here are going to be together. So leave one unfinished, then start the second one, leave it unfinished. And the third one, leave that unfinished. Now move to the back panel and start with the first stitch. Insert the hook into it, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. Leave that unfinished, yarn over twice, insert the hook into the next stitch, same. One more unfinished, and the third one as well unfinished. So you are going to end up with seven loops on the hook. This is the stitch. Uh, the, the chain, the first loop, plus the three and the six unfinished. Yarn over, pull through all seven loops. And that is the transition from the front panel to the back panel. And now you are going to be putting trebles in each stitch all the way until you reach the next shoulder panel. And as I reach the end of the next panel, I will put the last treble into the stitch next to the last treble. Like so. So I started here, well, went all the way around, stopped here. Now I'm going to turn the work. And all I'm going to do is work front post and back post trebles in each stitch or around each treble from here all the way to the other panel. I will have just enough yarn to add the second row and finish it here. If you do have enough yarn to add the third row, you would come here, uh, put the last treble into the fourth chain from the beginning, turn the work and add another row. And you would finish here. And uh, yeah, this sums up the project. And this was it for today's tutorial. I hope you had fun learning how to crochet this perfect transitional cardigan because we're moving into fall and winter. It's a new, inexpensive, trendy, fashionable addition to your wardrobe. You do not have to break the bank for this. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post every Wednesday and Sunday. And other than that, have a great week ahead. I will see you Wednesday with another Stitch Tutorial. Bye!